second half. Ian Rush Berry. So, uh, hello guys and welcome to another player review on the channel. Yes, as you can already tell, we have got the Channel Legends Prime Moments card and it is the Taskmaster himself, Sir Ian Rush, the absolute ghost, the Channel Legend, the man, the myth, the bloody legend who has had an upgrade to his weak foot. Yes, that's right. He has now got five star weak foot. He's going for about 550k and he looks absolutely incredible. Incredible. And I cannot wait to try him out. So, if you do enjoy today's play review, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA related content. Now, look at Rush. Obviously, big weakness there is the three star skill move, but he has his. Weak foot jacked off to five star. He's got a high medium work rate, five foot eleven. Looking very sexy, if you ask me. Now his pace is pretty decent as well, 87, 91. They're brilliant, but his shooting stats are absolutely unbelievable, aren't they? 95 attack positioning, 97 finishing, 90 shot power, 93 long shots, 94 volleys, and 90 penalties, which is absolutely insane. Um, his passing is okay for a striker. He only has 79 curve, but he does have the beloved finesse shot trait, which we all love, and also outside the foot shot and power header traits as well to go along with that. Uh, so don't be too worried about the curve. He has got the finesse shot trait to make up for it. Uh, but as I was saying, his short passing of 81 is great. Okay, long passing is a bit shit, but you don't really need it for a striker, do you? Um, his dribbling... His agility and balance could be a bit better, and so could his dribbling for a prime moments car. But I mean, when you see 97 composure, that is unreal, isn't it? Just unreal. 93 ball control, 95 reactions as well there. And he can win a head of lads. 93 head and accuracy, 88 jumping. So I'm hoping he's going to get us some headed goals in the player review. His stamina of 87 is great, so he can last all game long. And he's got decent strength and aggression at 83 and 76. So hopefully he will be able to muscle off the opponents as well uh, and I've already spoke about the traits there and there is his icon profile for you when he scored in the derby against Everton the beloved blues or should I say the shit blues celebrating like they've won the league because he beat Castle 1-0 in the last minute of the bloody game that just says it all that just says it all compared to us Reds that just says it all. But anyway, let's get on into the player review because I cannot wait to try this, man. Let's go. So, here we go into match number one. And are you taking the piss? He's got R9 Prime and Cruyff mid in the same team. But we've got the man, the myth, the legend, Ian Rush. So, let's go and score some goals and beat this man. Oh, lovely run. Ian rushes through within a minute. He scores it. The absolute god. What a goal. What a goal. What a breakaway. Lovely positioning. The 97 positioning coming into play there. And wow. That was insane. Was it 97 or 95? I can't remember what his positioning was. But lovely there to make a really nice run. Oh, he's here again. Oh, we can't get the ball to him though. Nice close control. Nice close control. Oh, unfortunately, they do get a block in. But lovely close control there. Lovely play. Oh, we find him again. We go for the chip, but probably the wrong option there. But again, great breakaway. These breakaways from him have been so really good so far. Oh, he wins the other. But the keeper does get a touch on it. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? It's to him. Does he win it? No, he doesn't this time. Into Rush. Oh, God, he blasts that one. Ian Rush, here he goes. Goes over the bar. We cut inside with Ian on his left peg. Oh, there we go. It's two. Even mucks about with those who cannot bleed. And is it a rage quit? I think it is. First game, two goals, rage quit. Insane, lads. Insane. Here we go into match number two. And he's got Foot Birthday Suarez and Salah in this team. Oh, I'm not used to Suarez yet, but I'm sure he's pretty damn amazing. One of the best Liverpool strikers ever. Ever. Oh, he was just amazing. But 
There's one that's better. It's Ian Rush, and he's gonna make you all gush in this game. Oh, Rush. Oh, 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 oh. oh my days. What play. What play. Absolutely insane. Insane play. Obviously, he's not the most agile player in the world. He hasn't got the skills, but what he has got is a left and right boot that every time he takes a shot is going to go in the back of the net. Honestly. Oh, his finishing is lethal. Here we go again. Lovely run from him. Can we get another? Of course we bloody can! Ian Rush! You beauty. You beauty. Oh. I'll tell you what, I might grow one of these out actually. Another, another rage quit. The rush effect, lads. The rush effect. Two games, two rage quits. Just what we like to see. And four goals from Ian Rush. Into match number three. Can we play a full game? I'm guessing this man is a bit of an Arsenal fan. Ozil in the Aubameyang in the and Martinelli in the. Because why else would you have them? I mean, Aubameyang's um, moments card is brilliant. I still love it to this day. But who do I love more? Ian Rush, go on, lad! Oh my god, look how slow that was like. <laughs> He's not the skill master, but he has got a rifle. Oh! Oh my lord. Lovely turn. Lovely turn. Come on, can we get the ball to him? Yes, we can. Oh, the keeper gets there, and we don't even get the lucky deflection in the back of the net. But lovely turn of pace there, lovely play, and again, a great run from him. That's what he's going to provide, lads. He is fast, he's got the weak foot, he's got the shooting inside and outside the box. Okay, the dribbling, it ain't messy like it ain't um, Neymar-like, but it isn't bad, lads, honestly. It really isn't bad. Same with him. I've just reviewed moments in Zagi, and I was really surprised... How good he felt! Oh, for God's sake, he nearly scored. I was really surprised how good Inzaki felt on the ball. Uh, didn't expect it at all, and he was pretty darn good. I scored one of the best goals I've ever scored with a player in FIFA with Inzaki. It was unreal. It really was unreal. But back to Rush. Yeah, his dribbling's decent. Obviously, it's not Messi and Neymar like. Come on. There we go. There we go. We found that little pocket of space with him. And obviously, obviously, he's putting it in the back of the net. Because his finishing is impeccable, lads. It really is impeccable. Again, his run making. Fantastic. Oh, we couldn't get a cheeky chip off. Oh, the rebound. But, oh, again, sensational play from him. I'm really enjoying this card, lads. Really enjoying this card. Somehow he's still got it! He finds space! The Welsh Wizard strikes again! Show yourself! And that's three rage quits in a row and two goals in each game from Ian Rush. Wow. This man is lethal. Do not sleep on this card, lads. Obviously, he's not perfect by any means. He does have his weaknesses. But when he's doing stuff like this... You have to try a card. You really do have to try a card. And Ian Rush, fantastic performance yet again. He's an absolute god. Last game with Ian Rush. And he's got Origi, big cock Origi himself. And Mo Salah. Two more Liverpool legends there. Can we get four rage quits in a row? That is the question. Into Rushy! Back post! He gets on the end of it. There's a lovely volley. I can't believe that went in. I cannot believe that went in. Let's have a dig. Edge of the box. Oh, that was close, lads. Not far away at all. Ian. Ian. Oh, for God's sake. That would have been so nice. What a run from him, though. What a run. He wins the header again. His heading is really good, to be fair. He does win a hell of a lot of headers. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Honestly, he's getting so close with these ridiculous shots. There we go. We finally got one. A long shot. He's got two goals. Is it the rush curse? Is he going to rage quit? Is he going to rage quit? He has four games, four rage quits and two goals in every single game from Ian Rush. If that doesn't tell you something about this car, I don't know what will. Go and get him, lads. Go and get him. He is a goal-scoring machine. Honestly, he's a machine, lads. Oh, honestly, I am loving this card. Really, I'm loving this card. So, we get into the player summary of Ian Rush Prime Icon Moments. And this year, he has not let me down at all. It's actually four games, not five. In four games, he scored eight goals. And I've got four rage quits in every game. Every game I play, he got a rage quit, lads. That is some effect. Um, he's brilliant. He really is brilliant. But obviously, he isn't perfect, lads. I'm not going to blow his trumpet too much. Um, skill moves obviously could be improved. We all would love four star or even five star skill moves. Um, but he wasn't a skiller in his day. What he's about is getting forward with his pace and scoring goals. And that is exactly what he does. He really does. Left foot, right foot, head, volley. It does not matter. This man will score you a shit ton of goals. I have no doubt about it. Um, other things to consider. Obviously, his passing, it ain't the greatest, lads. I've got to be honest. Even his short passing, it isn't brilliant. It's usable. It's decent for a striker. But it's not great. Um, so, yeah, the playmaking ability from him isn't the best in the world. But you don't expect him to be that, do you? His agility and balance... He isn't the most agile player on the ball, I've got to be honest. His dribbling isn't terrible. It isn't unusable. It is okay, but it ain't mind-blowing. And, yeah, it is a minor con on the card, where everything else is brilliant. His pace is brilliant. His shooting is by far just unreal. It really is unreal. Um, his attack position and his movement, he always seems to find the space in between the defenders, which is absolutely insane, and that's why he gets so many goals on this game. Um, obviously, you've seen him win a hell of a lot of headers in this review, uh, off corners, stuff like that. He didn't actually score one, I don't think, but he did win them, so I'm sure he will score some for yourself if you do manage to pick this guy up. His strength, he did feel quite strong, to be honest, um, and he did stay on his feet when he was challenged, stuff like that. So, in that respect, he's pretty okay. Um, obviously, if he comes up against Van Dijk or Varane flashback, he ain't going to muscle him off. But he does muscle off defence from time to time, is what I'm saying. But this card was phenomenal for me. He's not going to get a perfect rating, but I'm going to give him a solid 9 out of 10. I loved him. He has got room to improve, obviously. He's 550k. You can get a hell of a lot of player for that right now on FIFA, can't you? Uh, but you are getting a hell of a lot of player in Ian Rush. Scoring eight goals in four games is absolutely insane. It really is just insane. And I just want to thank every single one of you for your support. It has been insane recently. Just thank you very much, guys. Really, really thank you. Um, thank you for watching today's play review. If you have liked it, please do smash that thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA content. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.